came down to the Jersey Shore to shoot some uh, beachside content for how to drink. It's bright out, you may have noticed, so I'm wearing my Shade Tree glasses. Shade Tree makes fantastic wood frame sunglasses from all kinds of wood. They make them in a lot of different styles. I happen to like this style, uh, but they make them in all kinds of styles. If you're interested in those Shade Tree glasses, why don't you do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Follow the link in the show description. It's right below this video, that'd be great. Okay, help me make the show. I'm having a hard time being very serious because I'm in such a wonderful place, as you can see. Anyway, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff down here from the beach, and one of the things we're gonna have to make is some oleosaccharum. Oleosaccharum, well it's Latin for sweet oil, or oil sweet. It is a old uh, way of really extracting every usable part from citrus because citrus harvests were a very limited time of the year. We're gonna make some grapefruit oleosaccharum. You can apply this uh, recipe to any other type of citrus though. So, all right, let's chase her, let's go do this thing. So I mentioned before a little bit about what oleosaccharum is. Here we are in my outdoor kitchen. That's the set where we're gonna be shooting episodes of how to drink later on. Um, but to make those episodes, I'm gonna need some oleosaccharum. Oleosaccharum is a old uh, ingredient. It's actually one of the quintessential ingredients of true punch. Not like just a group drink, but punch as in a predecessor to what became cocktails um, or really what became sours. Sour is an offshoot of punch. Uh, someone might tell me I'm wrong. Oleosaccharum is pretty crazy. Um, it depends upon the fact that sugar is hypertonic or hypotonic. I always forget those two things, but basically it is, it is thirsty. Sugar eats water and that there's a lot of juices locked into these peels. We know that because every time we squeeze one, we see all those oils fly out. Um, it was developed, I think, as early as like the 1600s, maybe even earlier, as a way like, well, the, the fruit is here. Uh, we don't have a fridge, what can we do? We gotta use every part of the buffalo. Oleosaccharum is the thing to do. So all I'm gonna do is I have eight big grapefruits. I'm gonna peel them all entirely. Just peel them all because all we want are these peels. And you'll notice that I'm doing my best to minimize the pith um, Swiss peeler, a decent Swiss peeler, or a Cancun, uh, in this case, is pretty handy for doing that. But you could do this a different way. And uh, probably we're just gonna movie magic some of this because this is pretty boring to watch. So um, I have peeled five whole grapefruits, which is, I was gonna do eight, but this is what my container that I came with is gonna allow me to do, so five is fine. Basic rule of thumb with oleosaccharums is that you wanna do about two ounces of your sugar to each fruit. Grapefruits are a little bigger, but they're also a little drier, so I think that still holds true. That means I need uh, uh, 10 ounces of sugar, approximately. I mean, this is not rocket science cooking. And I'm gonna use a white sugar here because this should be relatively clear. Get that sugar in there, and I'm gonna seal this up and really try and get everything kind of coated in sugar as good as it can. All right, so that's pretty good. So if you just take a look in there, there's a lot of sugar, a lot of peel. Um, we're probably gonna have to shake this again later, now, you're gonna look at that, and you're gonna say, that's very dry looking, Greg. When does that turn into a liquid? Well, that happens over the next 12 hours. And even now, if you look, you'll see that the sugar is sticking to the peels, like that's damp. That is not because these were wet fruit when I put them in there, they were perfectly dry. The sugar is pulling oil out of the peel. And literally, this will pull enough oil out of there to fully dissolve the sugars, and there should be, tomorrow, um, a nice clear liquid floating in here, so. That's it, we're just gonna leave this to sit. If I had like um, a sous vide or something like that, I could probably speed this process up by vacuum packing it, but I don't, and that's fine. It's not really a big deal. All right, so it's been about 24 hours, a little more than that maybe, and you can see that this is real liquidy. It hasn't dissolved all of the sugar yet, which might be because I added too much sugar to the amount of uh, grapefruit peels that I added. It might also be because I have not done a fantastic job of shaking this, and so, as the sugar has gotten wet, it has settled, it has kind of dripped off of uh, peels that have more oil to offer, um, and I have not done the job of reapplying the sugar, so the sugar has stopped pulling oils out of those peels. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this whole thing and throw it in a pot. Boom. Really try to get all that in there. I wanna add one cup of water to that, however, the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that first. I'm gonna pour it into this oleosaccharum oil solution and sugar and use that to kind of rinse everything out, make sure I get as much of what's in this Tupperware as I possibly can. Very scientific. All right. And that all goes in. Now, we've just added a cup of water to our oleo. 
Um, we should add now an equal measure of sugar. And this whole thing is gonna go on the stove. I needed something to stir this thing up. Grab the swizzle stick. That's what I had at hand. Doesn't matter. I just wanna make sure that everything touches the water and sugar and that everybody gets all kinds of wet. Just gonna, I just wanna get this like simmering a little bit. There's some more flavors and oils that are in those peels and the sugar has to dissolve a little bit further. And that's really it. It's, it's actually, it's pretty much right there. One of the things that's gonna happen as these peels give up their, their juice, as they give up their juice, as they give up their oil, is that they start to like get a little bit stiff and brittle. Um, it's hard to describe and maybe it doesn't show up on camera, but when you're messing around with them, you'll feel what I'm saying. They physically lose density and volume and they turn almost into like barks, uh, like tree bark in a weird way. They still have flexibility, but you'll be pretty, it'll be obvious that there's a change that's happening and that they have given up the oil that is in the skin, which is what you wanna do. You wanna get all the oil out. Hey, so this is simmering pretty well. Um, and I've stirred it up a little bit. You can see that these have really thinned out and kind of turned into bark. And we're just, we're ready to pour them into a bottle and uh, call it oleosaccharum. Now, you gotta be very careful because this is incredibly hot. And maybe a smarter person would have let it cool first, right? You can see it's got a lot of color from the peels. It is not strictly sugar syrup. We have done a great job of sucking flavor out of that, uh, out of those, um, those grapefruits. And maybe there's a little bit to be gained by taking those and putting them into a cheesecloth and squeezing them. But frankly, I don't know how much you're gonna get out of that. And what I've got there looks fantastic. So I'm not gonna argue with success. We're gonna call that a win. So my oleosaccharum is in this bottle. It's very hot, so I'm gonna touch it in a very strange way so I don't burn my hand. Um, and I wanna sample it. And I think that the best way to sample uh, a syrup or something like that is to basically make a soda out of it. So uh, what I've got here is some ice and a little splash of that in there. Okay, we're gonna top up with some seltzer. That's really, I think, the best way to get a taste for either a syrup or a bitter, whatever you got. And so this will be just sort of a, if I, if I did this right, this will be like a nice grapefruit soda. Yes, this is perfect, that's awesome. It really just tastes like grapefruit. Um, and we're gonna use that to make a Paloma in a little bit, uh, in a regular episode of How to Drink, which is why we had to do this. Yeah, it tastes like grapefruit soda. Um, and very, emphasis on the grapefruit, because it's not very sweet, like squirt or any of your over-the-counter grapefruit sodas are gonna be very sweet. This is really grapefruit essence. Well, that's, that's it for Chaser today. Uh, there'll be a regular episode on Friday. It's a little bright out here. I'm gonna throw on my shade trees. Everything's better already. Incredible. Incredible. I feel uh, younger too. Younger, fitter, better. I mean, you know what? Those would be false claims. But they do block uh, UV rays and are polarized and made of wood. And if you like them, uh, follow the link in the show description uh, and do me a favor. Thanks. Shade tree, sunglasses. Good stuff. If you like the show, I hope you will subscribe and uh, turn on notifications. It's the thing you got to tell people to do now. And check out my Twitter, which is at How to Drink. And so is uh, my Instagram at How to Drink. And so is my Patreon, which, no, no, Patreon is at patreon.com slash how to drink. All that stuff is below in the video and in the show description as well. And, uh, and I know if you're clicking or not, because I use a link tracker. So be good. Be good. We're going to enjoy this grapefruit soda and the sun. Hoist the Jolly Roger. Check that out, you know? Come over here. There's a... I... I find you This is very hot!